This is a colorful table created inside of Excel, and this is a DXF drawing of that exact same table. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create and generate CAD style DXF drawings inside of Excel and only using Excel. Most businesses use Excel on a daily basis, and some businesses also use CAD on a daily basis. The sad thing is that Microsoft Excel does not really play well with other applications. That's why we created Excel Draw. Excel Draw is an add-in that will allow you to create CAD style drawings inside of Microsoft Excel. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can take Excel tables and convert them directly into a DXF file format so you can use it in any CAD application or just export it directly into a CNC machine. To start off with, you are going to need to have Excel Draw, which I already have it downloaded and installed right here. If you'd like to download Excel Draw for yourself, the link is in the description down below. And once you have Excel Draw downloaded, all you need to do is create your data table. Now, as you can see here, we have merge cells that go across rows and columns, and we even have a formula put inside the cells as well. Select your cells that has your table and click Cells to CAD. When you click that, a new window is going to appear right here. If you would like to include the text colors, just have the first option selected. If you'd like to have the font and the rectangle scale together, then you will need to select scale rectangles with font, which you're, you, you are going to want to do. If you'd like to make the exported DXF font sizes the same as is in Excel, so you have variable sizes on your text, use the cell font size option. If you'd like to make all of the text the same size, you can just deselect this and you can select whatever size inside your DXF document that you want it to be. The location of the data is going to put the top location so the top left corner of the excel box is going to be these dimensions here so the top left corner is going to be zero 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 inside of cad now the two options down at the bottom mainly reflect excel draw so excel draw does come with the capabilities of viewing and rotating and zooming in to dxf documents inside of excel so you can actually view these documents inside of excel if you want so you can generate other drawings but for today's video we don't want to have that option available so we are simply going to disable the graphing in excel next we do want to export into a dxf and we want to do it as soon as it gets done so we're going to leave export to dxf selected after that we're going to hit create it's going to generate for us a new spreadsheet which you see here with all of the cad objects available on it and it's asking us what we would like to do with the file where we'd like to save it so i'm going to save this as sample file for tables and if you would like to include the text coloring click force text color and hit export now the dxf document has already been saved and exported it's asking us if we would like to open it we're going to click yes and as you can see, we now have that exact same table exported over into CAD. Excel Draw comes with the capability of automating everything with VBA as well, since it is Excel based. And since it's all graphed inside of Excel, if you want to just use Excel for basic graphing, you can do that. If you'd like to learn more about Excel Draw, we have it in our description down below. We also have videos that are going to show up here that are tutorial videos as well as other promotional materials for Excel Draw to show you what it's capable of. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you all very much. Hope you have a great rest of your day.